oh man so yeah it's kind of kind of it can get kind of addicting like uh, what can i change next oh well what do they always say about art it's never finished it's just that the artist stopped working on it there's always more fun stuff you can do with uh with songs ah <sighs> All right, I think that's pretty much it. So at this point, uh, I can go back to the main menu. I can store it, save my work. And the next time I open it up, uh, yeah, we'll be ready. It'll be uh, ready to be loaded. I can work on it some more. Or at this point, I can use the SRAM file, the save file from the emulator to load it into a Game Boy game that I'm potentially working on. I'm not working on. This isn't going in a Game Boy game. Well, yeah, let's just go through the main menu again and see. Now it should all be what was really confusing and and a huge list of random commands at first should now be uh, perfectly digestible. So you've got block editor mode where you enter in notes, the sound editor where you create instruments or sounds, the block order list where you piece all the blocks together to make a complete song. We've got the block commands where you can copy, paste, paste the channel, transpose up, transpose down. Swap channel one and two, simple. The sound commands where you can uh, just copy and paste different sounds that you make, and that's it. Load from uh, this, load the load your music from the cartridge, and save your music onto the cartridge. That's the whole thing. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a few more. Well, I didn't talk about. Uh, so if I go into the block editor, I didn't talk about uh, all of the command options over here. There's things like uh, modulation and slides. Uh, I haven't dived into those yet, so I don't know if I will. There's, oh my gosh, up in the uh, sound editor, I just made a few basic sounds here. There are so many different kinds of sounds. You can have sounds that fade in. You can have sounds that uh, are, you know, arpeggios uh, and both channel one, two are uh, sounds will be very different from, can can potentially be very different from channel three sounds. Uh, I haven't even scratched the surface of the percussion sounds, all the white, all the sounds that can be made with white noise. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, and ultimately, so check this out, in the block order list, you know, making a Game Boy game, there's a good chance you're gonna have more than one sound in the entire game. Uh, so I guess, uh, so this is enormous. Is there a way to quick scroll through? There is a way. I don't remember how to do it. Whatever. 20. So I just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It just keeps it just keeps going. <laughs> uh Where is the bottom? So the point is, so this is where uh, just be oh wow, now we're up to A's. I think it goes down to FF. So there's a lot the point is there's a lot of room here for for songs that you can enter. And uh Yes. F E. All the way up to right, F E. From zero zero to F E. Um so there's a lot of room here. I mean <laughs> when I make a song, a sixty second song Oh, this is silly. I need to remember how to sh jump around here. Um, let me peek at the notes. The, uh, what is it? The help file that comes with this is outstanding. I've, everything I learned, almost everything I learned was from this file. It's really well documented. All right, block order list. Up, down, plus start. Uh, up, start. Whoa. That is fast scroll. All right. So the songs I've made that were about 60 seconds long, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if I made it to F. Just to give you an idea. So a 60 second Game Boy song, this is all you need. So the point is, uh, when you're making music for a Game Boy game, uh, every, because of the way save files work, uh, SRAM works, the data you save in this is always going to be either I think it's 16k or 32k around that size pretty darn big you do not need that much space for one song and so if you're doing three four five ten songs for a game uh 
you wouldn't put them all, it would be a waste of space to put them all in separate files. So, you know, you'd set your, you'd create a bunch of instruments, 16 instruments, 16 instruments per channel. And then you would use those instruments uh, to write a bunch of blocks and then use those blocks to write a bunch of songs in here. And there's plenty of space. And then you would import, import this one file into the video game you're making. And you can uh, play it in the background. Yeah. So this is tailored for a, uh, video games, Game Boy games written in assembly language. It comes with a library, assembly language library that allows you to load the song and play them in your games. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun learning how to do this. Uh, once again, I didn't see a lot of information on the internet on how to use uh, the Kirillin editor. I thought this would be nice to uh, share so more people can have fun making music on the Game Boy.